Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Farming Pastor's Wife. I'm Leslie, I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, I would love for you to maybe take a second and hit the subscribe button. Let me tell you, I upload content mainly on cooking, occasional grocery hauls, occasional clothing video, not many of those, but just occasional, some farming, and then um, a weekly vlog at the end of the week. So. I would love for you to hit subscribe and be a part of our family. And if you're a loyal subscriber, welcome back. You know I love you guys and appreciate you so very much. Today is Good Friday. Today is the day, uh, the Friday before Easter. This is the day that we celebrate as the day that our Savior was crucified. We're not really celebrating his crucifixion, but it is we remember his crucifixion. And so... Um, I'm just kind of laying low today and thinking about Jesus and preparing for our Easter meal. I wanted to make a dessert today. So I'm making a, a dessert that is a tradition. I've done this video multiple times. I know of at least twice this video is on my channel. And here we go with the third one, but it's a tradition. I'm cooking it. Might as well film it, right? I make strawberry cake for Easter. So we are making a strawberry cake. It is absolutely one of my favorites. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside Okay, so I have two or three cake recipes that are a doctored up cake mix, and this is one of them. But let me tell you, out of all my iced cakes I make, this is in the top two. And it, and it just fluctuates between if I'm craving chocolate or not. Because <laughs> I have a chocolate um, cake that I make with that has icing, and uh, it's from scratch. It's a from scratch recipe. And I love it too. So if I'm craving chocolate, then it's in the number one spot. If not, this is in the number one spot. And this is a doctored up cake mix. So it starts with a white cake mix. It doesn't matter if it's Duncan Hines, Betty Crocker, whatever brand you get is fine. This is where we start. So I'm gonna grab everything else. I'll go over the ingredients and then we'll be right back and get started. Okay, so besides the cake mix, you're going to need some oil, a cup of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. You can use canola. Just make sure it's a flavorless type oil. Yeah, I wouldn't use olive oil. Um, some milk, a half a cup of milk, four eggs, a box of jello, strawberry jello. And some sweetened, whoops, let me turn it around. Some sweetened strawberries, sliced strawberries. Now you can by all means slice up your fresh strawberries, put some sugar on it, macerate them, and let that um, be your strawberries. So doable, I've done it because last year, these were hard to find. But I do prefer these just because there's a little more juice and um, it cuts out a step. So. Let's get started. All right, let me just show you how easy this is. This is basically just a dump and go. So here is our white cake mix. I'm going in with a cup of the vegetable oil. We're going in with a half a cup of milk. We are going in with the four eggs. I don't even get a hand mixer out for this. 
I um, totally do it with a whisk. And that's how easy this is. I forgot my kitchen scarf, y'all. My kitchen scarf, I wear it around my neck and it has towels on each end of it. And I wipe my hands <laughs> when I need something and wipe my hands. And it's always with me. When I will think to wear it, that is. All right, I wanted to get those eggs beaten up really well. Okay, so to this, we're going to add in our, this is the three ounce strawberry jello. This cake is, I'm telling y'all, this, this is like one of those retro cakes. This was around years ago, and you just cannot beat it. I know some people put coconut and uh, pecans in it. I do not. I leave it just plain strawberry, just because that's the way my mama did it. Now we're going to come out with this really beautiful pink color. And look, I did not even need a hand mixer. All I needed was a whisk. And that's the beauty of those box cake mixes. Okay, so to this, I'm going to use a cup of my sweetened strawberries. All right. Now, don't go anywhere. We haven't even talked about the icing yet. I'm going to switch to a spoon. Stir that around. All right. Our cake is ready to go in the oven. It is, my oven is preheating to 350 degrees. It'll go in for about 25, 25, 30 minutes probably. Let's see. Um, yeah, probably 25 to 30 minutes. Let me spray my pan. I'll be right back. In case you were wondering, this is what I spray my cake pans with. You don't have to do the greasing and flouring. Um, it has the flour already in it. All right. Let's turn this baby around. Oh, y'all, this cake. My mouth's already watered. It smells heavenly. It smells so strawberry. And just wait, the icing, you think you can't improve upon this cake, but then you get to the icing and you're like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Very good. She's going in the oven. I'll see you when she comes out. All right, let's give a little beating here. And I leave the strawberries out in case I need a little bit more of the juice to thin the icing down. strawberry icing. All right, let me get a spatula and I'll meet you right back. All right, I'm just going to scrape the sides down and mix that in. Oh, this is so good. All right, I'm going to bring my cake over and I'll put this in the refrigerator to let that icing set back up just a little bit. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so good. Y'all, this really is one of my absolute favorite cakes. And how easy was that? And look at that beauty, the swirls of strawberry in there. I mean, and how much easier can you get than to start with a boxed cake mix? I mean, really? Right. 
I know there's more in there. We'll get it out. I just want to get it iced well. I'm not sure why the oh y'all this cake is so good. It's mm, it's so good. <laughs> This is one of the ones that, you know, I, I'm dieting, and I'm I'm not gonna diet on Easter. I'm gonna splurge, and um, but it's one of those things that whatever's left of this cake, my son-in-law will have to take home because it cannot stay here. Because if it stays here, I mean, this is one of those things: breakfast, lunch, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll get it out and cut me a piece and. It's so good. I hear Judabug. I hear Judabug. You're the black bear. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, I'm going to taste this icing and then we'll pull it up. But let me give the icing a taste. Y'all, that is so good. So good. Okay. Put this in the refrigerator. When Bryant's here, we'll give it a taste test. Okay, y'all. So, I haven't let the icing set completely up, but I want to get this video done, edited out to you guys. So, Bryant's on the phone. I'm going to go ahead and taste it, and then he can come and taste it. So, let me grab a fork. It's just, Caroline says she'll taste it. <laughs> this is my favorite cake. One of my favorite. Oh my. Y'all. Do you want to taste it? We may totally leave Daddy out of this. Brian out of this. This is actually the cake I make for her husband's birthday. So good. Y'all, and this cake just, it's like screams spring and summer. Like, I don't make it during the winter. I only make it during the spring. Well, only twice a year, really. Easter and his birthday. Jamie's birthday. Jamie's birthday, yeah. Her husband's. So, yeah. His, his birthday. birthday. No. <laughs> That's a she. Um, my birthday, she makes the brownies. Yeah, the turtle brownies. Okay. Hang on. I'll wait for Brian to come and give you his thoughts. Okay, so Caroline finished off the piece that I had cut. So I had to cut him a whole new piece. A whole new piece. <laughs> a whole Did you guys new look? piece. This is her Easter strawberry cake. The I, I hadn't, it hadn't been in the refrigerator long enough for the icing to really set up. Yeah, look at that. It's so good. As Lucky Charm says, it's magically delicious. And it was really deceiving. The cake did not fall as, like I thought it had. It no. was, it's, it's as fluffy as it normally is. Yeah, it didn't fall. No failure here. No failure there. So. Yeah. I knew how it was going to taste. <laughs> We have it twice a year, every year. We like this. Every Easter, this is our dessert. I don't waver. Yep. I was going to add a banana do you know, pudding Do you know why time. she doesn't waver? Her son-in-law likes this cake. And I like that cake. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we get it for Easter and our son-in-law's birthday. I was going to add a banana pudding to have two desserts. She, we'll, we'll all go for this. No, we won't all go for oh, this. Oh, you would go for banana pudding? No, you are on Octavia. <laughs> I'm on a diet. Caroline and I. I we'll said I'm splurging this. for Easter. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't He's care. He's ready for me to stop. I don't care. So, anyway. Hey, guys, this is a guy to make. If you like strawberry. <laughs> We're fighting over it. Full of flavor. Full of flavor. The icing's got strawberry, the cake has got mm -hmm. strawberry, the fork has got strawberry, everything's strawberry. So. Who's going to get that last piece? I will. <laughs> there you go. I'll finish off the icing. All right. I'll stand on my tiptoes. 
thank you guys so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. We appreciate you all. And remember, the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.